Okay, at this time, we're going to introduce our guest speaker. Uh, Joe, I think you're very friendly with Nigel. Would you like to introduce him? Sure, Nigel's the go-to person <laughs> at the state party. Very resourceful, very enthusiastic, great organizer, great company. Um, so I said that all on the top of off the top of my head. So may not be too articulate about it, but it's all very sincere. Nigel, welcome to Mansfield. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no, sorry. I think my computer got too close to a magnet and it just dropped me on everything. It just like I saw one of those very scary, staticky type of screens and then nothing. Uh, thank God it still works. Um, I'm glad I'm here. Uh, well, thank any gods, like whatever gods you want. <laughs> uh, but, uh, well, you're on, Nigel. Go ahead. You. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I have my colleague Anselin Keen here with me. She's in down right below me, actually, from the squares. Um, and I'm hoping she could uh, use a little bit of my time um, to also talk about what we're doing relative to making sure that our town or committees throughout the Commonwealth uh, can be distinct. Just the best way to describe this project, and I know you all are familiar with it, is to further contrast ourselves from the opposition party. Um, that said, um, congratulations. I heard a charter has been changed and that means that there is going to be uh, elections coming up in your neck of the woods. Um, if that's the case, um, uh, uh, good luck uh, to all of you. Uh, it's uh, one of those things where uh, we as we here at the party are taking, uh, are taking notice we have I've reached out to your DSC member, uh, Joe Kaplan, uh, regarding um, how we take notice. Um, as you know, like these elections are nonpartisan in nature, right? But we absolutely want Democrats to win. Um, but with that um, is the whole Democrat versus Democrat versus Democrat versus unenrolled versus, you know, and then you get all at some point someone who actually the person we actually do want the, the group we actually do want to run against right uh so joe invited me just to kind of give you a sense of um how a dtc navigates all of this because as the democratic town committee your goal and objective is to elect democrats but what happens when you have a bunch of democrats running at the same time right as far as and your goal is to elect eventually elect a democrat at some point um and on top of that, you have what my project is, has been providing support and assistance um, in places where we've identified um, MAGA uh, type act action. Um, I know folks are familiar with that type of action in, your in this neck of the woods. So this is especially pertinent um, going forward. Um, and just someone just throw up like you got, I wanna make sure I give answering three of my minutes. So at some point just throw up your, someone throw up your hand and say, hey, you know, you get down to four minutes and then I'll cut my, my spiel. Um, so where we've been, there's two pieces to this, right? Um, A, just having universal, <laughs> sorry, Jackie, uh, three, uh, one universal um, agreement among the, D, among the DTC, like we take our direction from, from y'all, right? Um, that, you know, he, we have, and, it's in your bylaws whether or not you y'all get involved, especially to 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 back up a demo to, to back up a Democrat, um, especially if it's pre primary. I don't I haven't read your bylaws as yet, but that's something you definitely need to look at to make sure that you have good 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 guidance like that's that that's already written down like in stone. That hey, this is why we do this thing. If you haven't thought about it, please, this will save you a whole bunch of headache going forward because it, it's basically something that everyone agrees upon, right? As far as like how we support, where we support, you know, you know, what, you know, what can be done. And of course, make sure that your support means something. That's where the party comes in, right? We have, and Anson will again talk about our trainings. We have, you know, we're, we, you know, we between vote builder, how to write a campaign plan, all sorts of things. Any Democrat can come to us and say, hey, I'm looking for a little, can you kind of give me a one-on-one -on -one about things, right? So of all your candidates who are going to run and, you know, they're, they're coming to y'all as the stakeholders in the local community about like, oh, you know, I'm a, I am a Democrat, like, 
you know, is there, is there anything that's uh, available? Like, cause I'm thinking about this, right? Because of course they run for something, right? There's a chance they run again, right? And we always want to make sure that our bench is built out, right? So that's the, that's the reason I make that point. Um, the next piece, of course, is as the Democratic Town Committee, your ability to kind of organize, kind of see what's available, right? As far as like, okay, everything's open. In some towns, everything's open, right? It's like, it's like okay, there's nobody running for anything. Like, we got to find candidates, right? And then there's town, places where like, okay, we have Democrats in this spot, but we know that there's some MAGA activity that's going to push back. We got to be prepared to support this particular person, right? So you have the spectrum of how a town, where a town committee can come in to make sure that they get to their ultimate goal, which is, of course, electing Democrats. And once again, just to uh, to pitch Anslings project coming up, um, you know, make sure that our values are projected not just around electoral time, but part of our civic society that is engaged in the town. So we're not just talking to people about getting Democrats elected. We're talking to them about our values on a regular basis and taking action to demonstrate that on both you know, on both sides. So yes, we get Democrats elected, but yeah, we're gonna have. You may see us uh, putting food in your food pantry. You may see us doing something that makes sure that we are contrasting ourselves, uh, you know, uh, from the opposition. Um, any questions so far about my wise sage? Okay. Uh, so. Are y'all excited about um, having folks run or having these elections? Are you are you are you hiding in the woods about any questions about this? We have two members of our committee running for select board this day. Right. So, so. You, right. So you know. So and it's, there's two open seats. So, so. yeah. yeah. Uh, so not really. Yeah, do you have a specific question? Nigel, we have we have people that we know that are running, but it was it's just been only a week since they, people were pulling papers. papers so right. our, the MAGA people haven't come out yet. Mm -hmm. um, we squeaked we squeaked by last year, as did Foxborough. Right. Um, so right. so we we're prepared. We we right. know what it looks like. Yeah. Exactly. And you keep an eye, and once again, you keep an eye on all the folks who are who do pull papers and who's running. Um, once again, you re always refer back to what where, where the word is written, right? Like, hey, here's how we handle like folks who come to us who are looking for our support. Make sure that you have consensus because once again, if you do not get a consensus, then you have a chance of rip, fall, ripping apart. And honestly, sometimes these things get, I've seen committees get ripped and it hasn't been easy putting them back together. So y'all are a strong group. You've been a strong group for a long time. I've worked with you now for over probably over six years, right, Joe? And so between from Paul Feeney all the way up to now. So I, you know, I, I implore you, all right, make sure everybody is like, okay, here's like, here's what we can do, what we can't do. Please refer folks who are looking for a little bit more guidance and, and help. Go ahead, Chair. I don't want to interrupt you, but uh, I'm Kevin Doyle, I'm the chair. Yep. Um, I've been pretty active in this committee for the past 22 years. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'm very proud about with this committee how we've changed every seat in Mansfield from being Republican to Democrat, except oh, for one state representative seat. Everything else has been turned by this committee. So we know about pulling together and working for our candidates, and we're right on top of this upcoming uh, election in our town, and we're, we're going to be right on top of it. So we're, we're, with, we're with you. <laughs> All right, I see that because it, it would be a sad day if I saw y'all like something like, oh, you know, we're just, just. The tumult, quote unquote, you know, because one person is with one person, one person is another person. Like, trust me, you know, it, it's it, it's. I, I just I just ring the bell because I've seen it so I've seen it happen so often. A little history, okay? We we made these motions years ago that uh, during the primaries we allowed our committee members to work for anybody that they wanted to that was running for office. Mm -hmm. But after the primary, we all came together. And more sure as it said this and swore by it to work for the candidate that won the primary as a Democrat. We've done it quite successfully over the past 20 years from what I've seen. So with the charter change, like what are the new seats um, that are open now? We don't have any new seats. We, we have just changed our, our towns and cities. Okay. Okay. So, so, we're, so we're actually losing the Shinnicks who are in Walpole. Right. Um, they'll be going over to the Norwood area 
Yeah. Um, but we are also picking up all of Attleboro. So Bill and Ellen uh, will be included in our just, you know, with, with all of us now. So we're pretty much intact um, other than picking up um, North Attleboro and Ken. Go ahead, Joe. I, so I, th I think you're talking about a town charter change. Yeah. I, I think oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about uh, uh, the district change. Sure. Yeah. I think you're confusing us with Foxborough. I, I think Foxborough does some local town. We don't have any changes in our charter unless no. I, I'm missing something. No, no, no. The town elections are the same. No, could yeah, okay. So, so the yeah. town elections are the same. And you, all right. So right. the the information you sent me, Joe, was just that things were opening up. It's like relative. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Great. All right. Yep. So yeah. So tell. Tell Dennis I was thinking about him. And <laughs> yeah. we're, we're going for it. He, he, uh, actually, he actually just sent out an email to us. Um, he went to the town hall today and found out everybody who had full papers. So he's been able to let us know who the Democrats and who the unenrolled are and who the incumbents are. So um, he's on top of it. Awesome. So yeah. So like I said, my goal is there's good work out there. I am, you know, my my goal is to make sure that our resources is in line with what's all, the good work that's already happening on the ground in the in your town, right? I know y'all have a plan. I know y'all have, have executed it perfectly, and I'm happy to like you know, and anyone who's running who's concerned and they need a little bit more training, send them my way. We will happily uh, make sure that they understand all the tools and resources that are available. Uh, you know, yeah. Never be too careful. Um, and then with that, I want to make sure that I give Anthony a little bit of time. Um, it's part of my time, and uh, I'll, I'll yield the floor to her. Thank you. Thank you, Nigel. Awesome. Thanks, Nigel. And I'll be snappy um, because I know you're all busy. So big thank you to having me on. Really, really appreciate it. I'm the new Blueprint Manager with Mass Stems, and as Nigel mentioned, uh, main goal of the Blueprint program is to make sure that our values are projected um, locally and that we at the party are elevating efforts that are already happening and supporting expanding efforts. And so our Blueprint program, I don't know how many folks are familiar with it, but it is really just grounded in the Democratic Party being a values-driven organization. And so it's our service-oriented project um, campaign that we run in off-cycle years. And so hopefully keeping the momentum from the last election cycle and keeping the folks that might have been in that outer circle engaged so they see that there's more to, you know, DTCs across the state, more to the Democratic Party than just door knocking, phone banking, and all those fun activities that come in campaign season. And so in terms of our service-oriented projects, a main point is that we are trying to just elevate any efforts that are already happening. Um, we know that lots of DTCs are involved in so many things, and I want to, you know, create a platform where we can share that news and share good news. Um, so if there are things that you're involved with already, please let me know, and I'm happy to, um, you know, channel that and make sure that we're spreading that news. And then also really exciting, we are planning a blueprint day of action on Earth Day. And so we're having DTCs across the state do a environment focused outdoor Earth. It's as creative as you want to get with it. Um, service oriented project where you know, we gather and we expand our networks and we do it around something that encompasses democratic values, but at the same time is really an approachable and inviting space to hopefully, you know, broaden our coalition and just continue growing and sharing, you know, good news um, across the state. So I would love to plan something with you all um, and would love to hear if you know, the DTC is interested in something like this, or if there are any local things that already happen that the DTC might already be plugged into relating to Earth Day. Um, so I'll just pause for a minute and if anyone has anything to share. Yes, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm the outreach um, officers. I'm very happy to talk to you about that. 
In fact, you can just put your send me a message with your contact info. Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, we we actually have a a cleanup. It's in May, usually the first weekend in May or something. A, a town wide cleanup. First day is April twentieth, right? So, but that's not a, that's in the middle of the week. Twenty second, I believe. Twenty second. Okay. So that's that's when you're doing Saturday. So, that's Saturday. so, so we, we could do something, something maybe to hook up with the cleanup. I don't know, just off the top of my head. I like I like that idea. Thank you. Awesome. And we have you know resources, and we'll be doing uh, vote builder specific trainings to this. So really here to guide DTCs throughout the whole process. So I'll put my contact info in the chat box and would love to continue this conversation. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Anybody else have anything else I'd like to say? Yes, Joe. Uh, Kev, uh, by the way, everyone, Kevin is running for re-election to housing authority. He has an opponent. We don't know her, her <laughs> party affiliation, I don't think. Um, but when are the papers due? It might be a few weeks before we actually know. It, yeah, as, it's, as it's, they're not due to March. March okay. 21st. 21st, I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we don't know what's going to emerge. We just don't. You know. Thank you, Joe. Um, and then Joe, I, Joe, I said, sorry, to, Joe, I sent you when the last date of registration is uh, to register for the election and that document I sent you is, uh, for for Mansfield. If I didn't, I know I did, but I'll send it again if you can't find I, it. We've got no, that information. We've got that. Awesome. Great. I, I have a I have a bad habit of just erasing your deleting your emails, Nigel. I don't open them. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am not offended. I get it. I'm really I'm way better looking than you. So that makes sense. All right. All right, Shay. Thank you, uh, Jackie Marilyn. Good to see you uh, uh, at the uh, Friday's event. And uh, you know, we'll be you'll be seeing a lot of each other. Okay. Thank you guys well, for coming tonight. Thank you very much. Be safe. Dems. Be safe. Thanks.